what is the right way mm. to set up a goal for your company for your organization yeah so for me um and the reason why i created my own strategy for for setting goals was because the the other um frameworks i yeah. felt were too restrictive um and there was too much focus on being realistic and and checking yeah. well is that possible and yeah. i want my clients my readers to so welcome audience welcome today in this podcast we are going to talk about if you are an entrepreneur or if you want to be an entrepreneur if you are into business if you want to start a business there is lot of hurdles because as you know guys the another name of business is failures like if you haven't have failures in your life you can't be a businessman because in a business journey it is not too smooth it goes up and down and up and down there is lot of thing that happens in a business life and if you want to be an entrepreneur this podcast is just for you because we are going to talk about all the hurdles all the traumas all the difficulties that a business person or an entrepreneur face in their life and how to overcome all those difficulties and how to be a strong and a masculine person and like Uh, have a strong mindset as well so this will be a very strong and a very very deeper podcast and today we have with us amanda with us and today i'm very happy to have her in our show because she is an author a hypnotherapist and a coach as well so we are going to have a very deeper conversation we are going to ask her a lot of things so that we can have a very deeper understanding about this industry so make sure to watch this podcast till the end Welcome Amanda welcome to our show welcome Oh thank you very much I'm really honored that you've invited me and really excited to be talking about the, this topic that as you said we can't succeed without overcoming difficulties adversity and different types of of trauma it makes us more resilient it, it gives us a greater breadth and makes us successful people all round both in life and in our business 100% and like in every uh, like entrepreneur's life or any businessman's life there is lot of challenges that is going to be happening like there are a lot of challenges that they have to take care of and uh, they have to overcome all, all those challenges but the main thing is uh, whenever somebody started a business i think they just stop when there are some challenges or something happen in their life they just stop doing the thing they like they just don't able to continue the things mm mm-hmm. right so uh, we are going to yeah. talk about all those things also that how we can overcome all those things but before that i want to start with your journey that how do you came to this industry and uh, now you are a coach an author you have wrote lots of books but why coaching industry there are lots of other things that you can do but why this yeah yeah so my my journey is not a straight line as i think many entrepreneurs experience a very winding road that takes us off in different directions right um my journey with hypnotherapy i'm now a, a clinical hypnotherapist and registered and accredited uh, based in the uk but i work with with clients uh, in just about all the continents at the moment actually so it's it it's really an honor to be able to have such a global reach and to help so many people but my journey with hypnotherapy began about 14 years ago or just over 14 years ago yeah when i was diagnosed with cancer and this was at a uh, a time in my life where i was already juggling lots of things i uh, i had a a business i i used to run a language school for little children uh, i employed um about 10 10 people so was doing something very different to to what i'm doing now and i think as for many people a cancer diagnosis kind of stops you in your tracks Yeah. your 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 world completely changes overnight and everything becomes uncertain i also had three young children at the time my youngest daughter was just 1 year old 
So you can imagine all the, 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 the pressures and the, the worries that I had at that point. Right. And in order to to help me with with those challenges, I reached out. I needed somebody to somebody <clears throat> not connected to my wonderfully supportive family and friends. I needed somebody to help me cope with the, the medical traumas as, as they were to me. I was terrified of the surgery of general anesthetic and I reached out to a clinical hypnotherapist in the time at uh, the town where I lived at the time and that just transformed the experience and empowered me to deal with all the the challenges that um, the diagnosis surgery and then radiation brought to my door so the the seed was planted uh, my recovery was was good i'm now completely robust and uh, and firing on all cylinders but that that recovery took a few years uh, to completely recover from it all and over that time i did a few other things uh, and then i had the opportunity of the the idea came from somewhere to train to retrain to do something completely different mm. and i was drawn to a hypnotherapy program so i traveled uh, to another city once a month for a few days uh, every month and as soon as i started this hypnotherapy training program i just felt that i had come home all of a sudden it made sense of everything i could see that my own life experiences and as well as the the, the cancer I'd, I'd come through other traumas and difficulties and mental health problems including depression and anxiety and then i was learning tools that i knew were going to enable me to weave together my personal obstacles and my professional training mm. and enable me to help so many people and i just i can't describe it in any other way but i felt that i had come home this was meant to be this was where i was meant to be amazing and now what is the best thing you love about your uh, business that you are doing right now well one thing that is totally different to any other business i've run in the past or any other job is that i bounce out of bed every morning. I'm excited to, to get up. I'm excited about the day ahead because for the last eight years, I've been helping people, leaders and entrepreneurs in the main to transform their lives, to make such a difference and yeah. to be part of somebody's journey and then to hear about their, their successes and their the joy they have found in their life and in their business that's yeah. what what makes it all worthwhile so yeah that that that's what excites me that possibility of transformation 100% 100% it's a very beautiful feeling of uh, like transforming life of people and having their yeah. feedbacks and having their things that yeah amanda you have done a great job and all those things those appreciation is a very big thing it's it's more than money mm -hmm. it's more than anything so like totally. this is brilliant yes. and yeah. uh, amanda yeah. as you have written a lot of books as well you are an author so like what are the books that you have written would you like to show our audience yeah i i, I just happen to have them here so yeah uh, my first my first couple of books are about well-being in the the workplace um, for non-profit organizations uh, where i've worked with leaders and then just in general and it's a very simple book with um some tables and charts and some free downloads that will right. help any entrepreneur who has a team even if it's a team of one to to look after their team because being in good mental health is is vital in order to to, to be successful in what you do mm. and the next book i wrote was uh 10 ways to build your self-confidence so mm. again i describe my books as no fluff just useful stuff 
uh, and they there are just 10 strategies that somebody can dip in and use to boost their self-esteem or boost their self-confidence and then my fourth book <clears throat> is the power tool for life goals and i am challenging the smart goal strategy you know the specific measurable achievable relevant and targeted smart goals that we all learn in business school um, but i've created the power tool and my acronym power which i love the word uh, power and i'm i'm all about empowering people right. is to picture your goal take one step at a time think about when you're doing each stage of the mm. the strategy when mm. you're starting when you want to achieve your goal evaluate it and your reason why so this five step power tool again lots of um i like lo i like inspiring people lots of color it's like a workbook and again hearing people's stories about the transformations they've created using any of those books especially the um the goal setting book is it, it mm. is just yeah it's my dream come true amazing amazing this is brilliant this is brilliant okay let's talk about business now that how to grow a business as an entrepreneur and all those things so let us start with the goal because each and every entrepreneur have a vision in their life that i want to do this i want to do that and there is a specific uh, goal that a person have but uh, can mm -hmm. you tell us more about that how to set a a realistic goal as a entrepreneur what is the right way mm. to set up a goal for your company for your organization yeah yeah uh, okay a great question so for me um and the reason why i created my own strategy for for setting goals was because the the other um frameworks i yeah. felt were too restrictive um and there was too much focus on being realistic and and checking mm. well is that possible and mm. i want my clients my readers to to reach for the stars if that's what they want so to to dream as big as they want checking that it's in alignment with their core values and and beliefs but if they want to be a multimillionaire and work globally then mm. go for it if you want a lifestyle business that is going to support you and your family and enable you to sp spend as much time as you want with with your family or or other people you care about then then go for it so i think at the beginning we need to take time to to think about what we want and you can do this by using vision boards by uh, one of the strategies i teach is to to make a list of all the things you're unhappy with or all the things you want to change and then from that list you create a list of the things that you actually want because some people do find it difficult to to define their goals and define their dreams and and what they want so there there are lots of different ways but giving yourself the time and the space to to think okay what 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 do i want to to achieve who can i help because entrepreneurship and business is all about serving other people right so i think that that is a key question yeah mm. who are you serving who do you want to help and whether you're uh, you're selling services or whether you're selling products your uh, your things are going to make people's lives better so thinking about what gifts you've got what training you have or you want to have the sort of people you want to make a difference to all of these can can start to to create an uh, an image and right. when i say image it, it can be uh it's not just a picture in your head some people create pictures in their mind really really clearly other people um they they use um their intuition or they use other senses so you could write down 
what mm. your your business is going to to look like uh, or you can you can get pictures and and vision boards you can talk out out loud you, the, uh, there are lots of ways that you can define your end result your desired end result but also at the same time knowing that that may change and it probably will over time and that's okay yeah we have to start somewhere we have to start with with a destination in mind like getting into your car you wouldn't just say to your sat nav take me somewhere you'd say okay take me to this place and your sat nav would would suggest the the route and that's what a good goal plan does you say okay this is what i think i'm about this is uh, the, this is the um, the audience i i want to to serve so let's let's go towards that when you get there you might think actually this isn't fulfilling me in the same way so it's okay to to go on on another journey but you break that journey down into tiny baby steps and break each of those steps down into the tiniest little actions so that you can always do something even on difficult days even when you have challenges to move the needle forward and to move you towards your goals i don't know if that answers your question <laughs> yeah totally makes sense totally makes sense and this was amazing uh do you think by telling your goals to others or speaking about your goals in front of people uh it doesn't help us to achieve that do uh, should we speak about our goals in front of the public or should we take it secretly mm mm well i i know that there are a lot of um goal setting gurus out there who say you have to post it on social media you have yeah. to tell people you have to talk about it right but i think that's a really personal decision personally mm. i tend to keep my goals to me it doesn't make them any less sincere any less important but that's just the way i feel comfortable so right i think you should give yourself permission to do that if you think that that is going to motivate you yeah but when you do that you also are at risk of people who are not understanding and not supporting you in the best possible way who may make you feel bad if you change your mind if you take a different route right so i think be be careful about who you share with yeah and make your make your own choice if that feels like that that's going to motivate you more then go for it absolutely mm. but if you feel that there there may be some people who could destabilize you demotivate you then find another way maybe just tell one or two close connections right and Makes otherwise keep it to you so mm. yeah amazing beautifully answered so amanda like as you have written a book about managing a team there is a big problem that most of the entrepreneurs are facing and even i have heard this problems where, from some people the entrepreneur mm. is very very focused and they want to do something in their life they have a vision they have a goal but for growing a business it required an army it required a team of people but mm. the team doesn't have the same goal they are not aligned with the goal they are just working just for the money they just are working for the salary they are not aligned with the vision of the entrepreneur vision of the founder so how as a mm. founder how we can align our team for a single vision mm. and focus to mm. achieve that vision as a army of people not as a solopreneur because now mm. we mm. are a team of people so yeah. yeah i hope you uh, i am able to yes. uh, convey that yeah mm mm yes I, i absolutely and i think anybody who who wants to uh, to grow their their business from just being a lifestyle solopreneur which is absolutely fine if if that's what you want and and that meets your your needs but if you do want to to grow in a significant way then of course you do need a team you absolutely right. need a team and i was uh, talking to a, a leadership 
expert yesterday, actually, and she was saying that um, a study has, has been brought out with, um, as a conclusion, the 10 most important traits for a su successful leader in 2023 going into 2024. And at the top of that list was communication, communication ability on the part of the leader. Mm. So I think that reflects the the core answer to to your question that an entrepreneur, a leader is usually a creative sort of person that has a vision, has lots of visions, has lots of enthusiasm and energy and the business is their baby and we we have to accept that nobody else is going to love that baby as the original entrepreneur and the founder does and and and, and that's okay that's just the way things are but that doesn't mean to say that you can't communicate your yeah. passion and help your team become aligned so motivate them give them responsibility communicate with them don't be somebody who is just placing yourself at the top and everybody else is down there and just has to do what you say so communicating your ideas and i think anybody who is passionate about their business when they talk about it they enthuse the people around them so if you take the time to uh, to to have a, a a coffee team meeting first thing on a monday morning a motivational uh, meeting to also get feedback from yeah. the people because usually they are the ones who are closest to your your, your bottom line and, and your success day to day because right. as you scale you tend to become a bit more removed. So you have information and enthusiasm and a passion to communicate with them. And they have really, really valuable information to communicate with you. So talking, involving them and getting to know them because people will have different skill sets and you can utilize those skill sets. And, and by doing that, yeah. you are motivating and empowering the, the people in your team. And, and you're also able to, to know if something is going on and they're not their usual dynamic, productive self. So you can have that chat and say, is everything okay? And mm. yeah, you, you don't have to, be a, a leader at the top who is completely separate from their team. I think the best teams are teams that work together. The, right. the leader, the founder will uh, will motivate and will will set uh, the the main goals. But it, it's teamwork, I think, to to create true success. Hundred percent. It's a teamwork. Like if we are like separating ourselves from the team, like they are going to feel uncomfortable. But if we are working together, having a very good communication, like they will also work for the same goal. So, like amazing. Mm -hmm. This is totally correct. And uh, uh, like Amanda, what do you think about that? Like after the COVID period, after the lockdown, like most of the uh, like most of the companies and lots of people are working from home they are working from mm -hmm. like uh, virtually so like mm -hmm. managing a team physically is different and managing a team virtually and like people are working from their home is different so what you will recommend to mm -hmm. the people who are managing a team virtually is it difficult or mm -hmm. what do you have what what, what 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 do you think about this like uh, how to manage a team mm -hmm. virtually and having the maximum yes. output. Mm, mm, yeah. yeah, well, it, it's a reality, as, as you say, that has sort of been born out of the, the pandemic. Yeah. I think you can still, it, it, it's down to you as a leader to, again, set the tone. And you can still have a, a coffee chat in mm, uh, on, on a Monday morning or whatever, whatever day of the week works for mm. you. 
and if you're working with people all over the the world then you have to think uh, carefully about the the time zone right. and what time you you do that but that that's always possible to to work around and right. if you do have people in very different time zones then just rotate it so that you can uh, you know it, it's not just one person having to get up at three o'clock in the morning for example yeah. every uh, every week but yeah just creating events like that and now with all the the, the gadgets and uh, the the software that's available you've got all the the virtual whiteboards and the the chats that can be saved and the collaborations and screen sharing so it, it it's possible to create something that's very similar to all being in the same room and if it's feasible, why not think of a, an annual or biannual event where you all get together physically somewhere and have that as your, you know, your your team building and and getting together and, and bonding in that way. So creating a bit of a, a hybrid arrangement and making the physical meetups as as frequent as is uh, desirable and, right. and doable with budget and and time so yeah i i think you can still use the same strategies yeah um, and yeah do do that rather than, actually hmm, rather than having a physical meeting we can have a virtual meeting but we can use the same strategy mm. that is communicating with our team that will be the best thing that we can do amazing yes yeah totally mm the strategy that you told us about the power strategy that is about the picture and the, uh, like the power strategy can you tell us more mm -hmm. about that strategy that how that thing come to your mind and how that will impact to the people because i love that thing like it was quick but i love that so i want to get more mm -hmm. information about that power strategy yes yeah uh, absolutely so so yeah, um, just once again, so the, yeah. the five steps are picture your goal, and that that can be you know actual pictures in, in your head, but it it can yeah visualizing yeah, um, which can use any senses, and we can write and visualize, or we can get pictures, um, a, a vision board, or, or whatever. Um, one step at a time, that is really, really important to remind yourself that we need to break our goal journey down into steps and yeah. break each step down into tiny steps. Hmm. So then we think about when. When do we want to achieve this goal by? When are we going to start? When are we going to start each step and each tiny step? So the evaluation, the E, is all about finding ways of, of measuring both in a quantitative way and in a qualitative way. So by quantitative, we might uh, measure uh, in terms of our income or, or, or turnover or number of units or number of clients. Hmm. And qualitative, checking in how does this feel mm. is this still in alignment so lots of ways of evaluating and measuring and then are your reason and that actually encompasses the whole of the the process what is why the do i want this because if you are not 200 percent committed to your goal then you're not going to stick at it. If you're doing it because somebody has said, oh, you should do this, or uh, a parent has influenced you, or a partner, a spouse, or a friend, and you have found yourself being pushed into a business that isn't really making your heart sing, then you're not going to stick at it, or it's going to feel like hard work. Right. So we need to look for ways of creating success and joy um and and that's what the, this tool enables you to do and you asked me how the idea came about it, it was it was quite interesting a few years ago i was asked to 
do a, a, a workshop and a presentation to a group of young adults. They were between 18 and 25 year old uh, adults mm -hmm. and uh, about setting goals. Uh, setting life goals and I started preparing and I got my um, my old notes from when I uh, did business studies and marketing and I got my uh, smart goal framework out but it didn't feel right I kept feeling that I was restricting these young people by saying is uh, getting them to ask the question is this achievable is it a, a reasonable type of goal i thought no push that away and invite them as i said before to reach for the stars if if that's what they want to think about what they really want rather than from the get go saying oh maybe that's maybe that's too much maybe that's not possible because anything is possible if you want it enough right you can you can make it happen in in some way and and that's what the 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 goal strategy is all about and that's why the the book is full of color um is full of um tables and uh and charts that that will help people do that process makes sense with, with joy and and with pleasure amazing amazing for sure yeah so, uh, and and that that's when the yeah i i thought okay so what five steps well what steps it wasn't five at, at first and um, i looked back at my own goals of of getting through uh, my uh, my illness and and my cancer and, and reinventing myself um, my goal of living by the seaside my goal of living abroad in my 20s and getting promotions when i looked back all of those things had been achieved with those five steps so yeah <laughs> beautiful <laughs> amazing amanda like uh, this is a like question that i asked multiple times but i want to know from you as well like you are doing a great thing you have a lot of things that you have achieved in your life now what next like well, what is your goal do you want to share that with the audience now right what next, yes what do you want to yeah. do in your life yeah absolutely so i i have a, a few goals i have helped it, i did a count recently so probably round about a, a thousand people in my one-to-one -one coaching but to one-to-one -one coaching last eight yes yeah over people. eight years yes oh, wow. yeah yeah um some people for for short troubleshooting programs and other people i've worked with there uh, for for longer but in the in the last eight years that's the number of people who who have come through my uh, my virtual door um uh, as well as uh, uh, before covid i did have my own office where where people physically came to me now it is just all uh, all on zoom so i would like to help so many more people transform their lives so now i am um, i've invested in myself i've in, uh, just in, invested a, a five figure uh, sum in uh, in growing my my business in um, a, a business coaching and consultancy program that is going to help me create events and speak to much larger larger audiences right um so that that that's my my core goal to be able to help even more people through my my books through my coaching and by creating some group coaching programs that is going to enable me to serve many more people at one time so yeah that that's the the essence of my my upcoming goals amazing amazing so you are doing a great job and uh, this is amazing Thank to you. help a lot of people you are amazing you have done a lot of things so yeah amanda for the audience who are watching this podcast still here i think they are very very different from others because 80 percent of the audience like 
uh, don't have the attention spam to listen a podcast for like 40 50 minutes or something like that but the audience who are watching this podcast till now that means that they are very mm. very serious related to their life do you want to give them a gift or something from your end or do you want to like how you can help the people can you tell us that how they can connect with you do you have access to something that you can give them yes yeah uh, absolutely so i'll i'll give you um links to um to a, a couple of free gifts that uh that may be of interest to your audience um they are very welcome to find me via my website which is notjustcoaching.com my business name is not just coaching so that that's notjustcoaching.com and they can connect with me there or find me on linkedin and i have uh, some free guides that i can share with people if they drop me a, a dm or get in touch with me through my, uh, my my website and let me know what area it is that they're interested in um i have some uh, a guide that will help them reduce their stress i also have a couple of guides that one will help people get through toxic relationships and another one if anybody is wondering if any obstacles in their way are due to past trauma i have a quiz and a very comprehensive guide that will help them understand whether or not it was childhood trauma because it's not always what you think but it can create symptoms that trip you up later on in life and can stop you from growing your business so i will give you the the links to to those uh, free gifts and uh, or people can wow. contact me through notjustcoaching.com amazing amazing i am going to link it down your website your linkedin and all the things so guys for the christmas you have the gift now you can just check it out in the chat box you can just check it out in the like pinned comment or in the description section so you will get it there and uh, like uh, happy christmas and happy new year to you amanda as well and uh, we thank are... you the same to you <laughs> thank you so much uh, have a very very amazing new year and guys have a very very new year to you as well make sure to subscribe this channel because in this new year we are going to give you more deeper and deeper podcast so thank you so much amanda for like joining this podcast i'm so happy to have you in our show Oh th- thank you for for having me and I wish all the best to everybody watching this and 2024 is going to be your year. Yeah 100%. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. Take care guys. Bye. Bye bye everyone.